Hello, Todd here from FreeCoyoteHuntingGuide.com. Uh, today I want to take a minute and uh, talk a little bit uh, about some uh, tricks and, and tips that I've learned uh, hunting coyotes here in Michigan. Uh, we all know that coyote hunting started out in the wild, uh, open spaces of the West, but when you're hunting in a thick cover, in the thick woods, uh, it helps to have a few, uh, it helps to know a few little tricks and tips. So let's take a minute here. Uh, these are 10 of them that I've... Uh, learned over the last several years and they've really helped out with my success uh, when I'm hunting coyotes uh, in the thick cover. So let's take a minute and take a look at them. Okay, uh, tip number one. Use an electronic collar. Place your collar 30 to 50 yards behind you. Uh, a coyote is not uh, going to come in from where you just walked in and for some reason coyotes always seem to have a margin of safety built in uh, when they're when they're approaching the call you know granted some coyotes will just come charging in but more times than not they'll stay uh you know what they feel a safe distance away until they can confirm what their ears are hearing and sometimes in these conditions you know when it's real thick even a few yards can can make the difference between uh success and and not seeing a coyote at all okay let's go on to uh tip number two Try hunting from an elevated stand. Uh, you know, you can make use of the same tree stand that you use for deer hunting. You can build yourself a little predator ladder, which uh, can be constructed from using a four or six foot, you know, wooden step ladder. Attach a bucket, uh, swivel seat to the top, and throw on some camouflage paint, and you have a portable hunting platform. A ladder really works great in the early season with the tall grass and brush, and a ladder will really greatly improve your sight distance. Of course, you want to check your local and your state hunting laws on, on hunting from an elevated platform. Tip number three, <clears throat> don't sit up in the field, sit up in the woods. A lot of eastern coyote hunters uh, sit up to call across an open field in an effort to call coyotes you know, out from the woods into the open area. This is not always the easiest thing to do. Coyotes don't, you know, they really don't like to expose themselves when they have some protective cover and you got to remember what's usually to your advantage is to the disadvantage of the coyote. Oftentimes they will you know sit back 20 to 30 yards in the, into the cover and never expose themselves at the wood line so instead set up just inside the the tree line. Tip number four be patient. If you're hunting uh, wide open spaces you can see coyotes coming in from you know a long way off. You can't do that in the thick stuff you can't see what's out there and neither can the coyote coyotes uh, they move a lot slower and with more caution in the thick cover remember they're trying to confirm with their nose and eyes what their ears are telling them so short 15 minute stands might work out west but <clears throat> excuse me when you're hunt, hunting in a thick cover you should plan to sit at least 30 minutes or longer you'll be surprised how many coyotes come in after the 30 minute mark tip number five use a combination of an electronic call and a hand call Sometimes uh, different sounds coming from two different locations just seem to confuse coyotes enough where they throw caution to the wind and, and come charging in. And I find this works out uh, in those areas where you might have some call shy coyotes or, you know, areas that you know there's coyotes there, you see the signs, but uh, for some reason you just can't call them in. Sometimes this, this trick will do the, do the job. Tip number six, get territorial. Coyotes in thick cover can be very territorial. You know, they tend to have smaller home ranges and territories. And if you happen to be invading their home turf, they'll often uh, take action to protect their food sources. So use coyote vocalizations to provoke a response. And then once you get a response, ratchet up the aggression, and especially during the mating season. Tip number seven, use game trails and easy access routes. Coyotes are like most animals, you know, they usually prefer the path of least resistance, so you position your calling to allow a coyote easy access to your shooting lanes. And if you're using an electronic collar, place it near a game trail or, or a lane. Tip number eight, hunt with a partner. Position your partner to cover the back door. Coyotes will often circle just out of view as they work their way downwind of the sound. So if you position your partner to cover the downwind wind side, uh, you know, it's best if they sit behind to the right or to the left, depending on the wind direction. And always, for the sake of safety, make sure everyone knows the exact position of each hunter. And you want to define the shooting parameters of each hunter. 
lot of times the, the guy downwind will be the guy that gets gets the coyote. Tip number nine, turn up the volume. It's all right to start out calling uh, with a low volume. Coyotes, you know, they can be close in the thick stuff, and if you and you don't want to spook them with some unexpected ear-shattering no, noise, if nothing happens in the first 10 to 15 minutes, don't be afraid to crank up the volume. Sound really doesn't travel that far in the thick woods as compared to the wide open areas, and this is especially true with a little wind and some leaves on the trees. A few hundred yards in heavy cover is much uh, different than a few hundred yards out in the wide open spaces. And finally, tip number 10, be ready to bark. You know it can happen in a flash. You can't see the coyote coming. It's too thick, and all of a sudden a coyote suddenly appears and it's on the move. Uh, you know, you have a limited shooting opportunity. A few more steps and the coyote disappeared, never to be seen again. So be prepared to stop a coyote instantly. And probably the best hunting tip for the thick stuff is uh, to use a loud bark. The second you see that coyote and get ready to shoot, a lot of times that'll do the trick. So, well, I hope, uh, I hope some of these uh, tips help you out uh, with your success. That's it for the day. You can also get some more information. Uh, I give away a free guide. All you have to do is go over to free coyotehuntingguide.com and uh, pick up your free guide today. Thanks for listening.